Sanjeet Padel joined Uber Eats as a food delivery rider at the start of the year, making around $200 for eight hours' work. But recently, he's been taking home as little as $50 a day. After the COVID-19, everyone lost the job and everyone is started doing the Uber Eats. And we have a lot of riders in the street and we have less trips. So we can't make uh, as much money as we made before. With a flood of new riders on the road, the Nepalese international student is having to wait far longer than he used to for deliveries, sometimes up to three hours. If we don't get the tips, we don't have money. So we need to pay the rent continuously and we need to pay our college fee and we need to pay the bicycle rent, everything. So it's, it, it makes a bit stressful. Many new riders are temporary visa holders who lost their jobs during the pandemic. Unions say earnings have been allowed to fall so low for riders due to inadequate regulation of the food delivery sector. Well, the reality is for these riders that they're the forgotten class, that they've got no minimum uh, uh, rights, they've got no minimum wage. Workers for food delivery platforms are classified as independent contractors who do not have the same protections as employees, such as unfair dismissal and the minimum wage. Uber Eats would not disclose how many new riders it has signed up during the pandemic and if earnings have been impacted. Sanjeet Padel hopes that as restrictions ease across the country, so too will his financial stress. 